What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Today, you know who it is. So today we're going to talk about uh, the phenomenon, <laughs> if you want to call it that, the phenomenon of uh, these black YouTubers who are out here with their hat in their hand, you know, begging crime. Mo, please, Governor. You know, like Oliver Twist. You know, they they don't have no gumption to lace up their bootstraps. Man, they man, they hit tough times. They want to beg. Then they want to say, "Well, black folks don't support you." Well, let me go in. Well, first off, you have a bad business model. And let me let me explain this. Your videos. If you look at all these black tubers that are begging. Their videos are all negative, 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 negative. They don't offer any ray of sunshine. Now, let me ask you folks out there. Why are you going to donate to a negative video when in the black community you can find trillions of negative videos on YouTube? What separates this negativity from the other negativity that will make you willing to pull out your hard-earned dollars? That's what it is. And number two, I wouldn't give money to these guys anyway, because like I said, it's a bad business model. You're basing your your you're basing your whole YouTube experience on this. You didn't put you didn't go you don't go market yourself. You don't go to um, put it on Twitter. You don't you don't do anything. You just think you can make a couple videos and all of a sudden I'm I'm you get subscribers, you get views and you get a little money and all of a sudden you don't you forgot what got you there. It was the hustle in the beginning that got you where you're at right now. And a lot of you, once you got... And you, you guys weren't even making money. I, I know what the money scale is on YouTube, don't forget. You guys weren't even making money, you got lazy. You guys are like the equivalent of like a fourth round rookie buying a house for his mom and buying a brand car and not even signing a contract yet. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like you guys, you guys are bad for business. And then you want to, and then number two, we see that you guys aren't for the people like you say you are. Cause then the minute the minute the times got tough, where you should be lacing your bootstraps, you didn't lace your bootstraps. You blame somebody for untying your bootstraps. And then you want to come back with the well, black people don't support each other like white people do. Look at their videos. Their videos are fun. They they, they rarely have negativity. They're mostly, you know. They're mostly video games, you know, they're all they're doing something real, you know, fun. They they don't wrap themselves in negativity and if they talk about something, they talk about it from the heart and they, they they cry and whine. They do the same thing, but they, they put a spin on it where you can't because like you know how this is how black people do. And the fact remains is you just have your your business says sucks. Cause you, how are you gonna put your all your eggs in the, the YouTube basket? And B, you were getting money. If you were getting money like you say you were on YouTube. Why don't you reinvest it in um, advertising? You see this uh, picture on your screen right here? I turned those into stickers, and I have those on in my Instagram where I was going around cities that I visit. And I put gotta go gotta go to the colleges, and if you ever been to a lot of colleges, or if you even been to a college. You know, there's every one, there are certain places where they put up a bunch of leaflets for like maybe classes, studies, or say you say you need some lawn mowing, landscaping. I went to every one, of, every one of those places, started putting stickers up. It didn't cost me that much to buy the stickers. I, like I said, I, I had the right there. I, I had the I had the design, and like I said, I don't make a lot of money off of YouTube. But the money that I didn't make, anything that I made off of YouTube came back to me as far as I put it back in. And then the problem is, whenever things got rough, instead of, you blamed your audience. Who does that? When Oprah, if, well, Oprah can't do it, let me see. When Jordan was declining, he can't blame the guy in the third row because he, he, he's declining. It's just old age. You you want to you want to shame your people to give you money. The shame is you're shaming somebody. You should be shamed. But that's 
you know, I have no problem helping people. But first, you got to help yourself. You got a lot of guys on YouTube that want to do this, want to do that. They know this, they know that. But you're not doing anything to help yourself. Like I said, if you can talk about what black women are doing bad in the community, what black men are doing in the community. But you never talk about what your take on the solution would be. How can we do this? Like, if I do videos, I try to give both sides. I give my experiences. And I give, like, logic, you know, with common sense. But a lot of you were, a lot of, a lot of, let's face it, a lot of you on YouTube were doing it just to, or you were jocking somebody else who was doing it on YouTube, who you saw got views, and you decided to do it. And let's face it, a lot of people that are begging on YouTube, they don't have any personality. They're like straw men and stick men. They just, they're, they're like, they're anal. You don't believe me? Watch their videos. You can stick a diamond up their ass. I mean, I'm not. You can stick a piece of coal up their ass, and by the end of their video, you come up with a, with a nice little Tiffany diamond. Don't believe me? Watch their videos. They're just stiff. And they want me to donate money to that? They think because they wore a suit, <laughs> or someone think because they, 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 pro they speak proper English, that I'm supposed to give you money. Man, I, I, I donate to people who I like. And you're not going to hold my dollar hostage. Like, and if you're a feminist and you're making videos like this, you know you get the middle finger right. You don't need a man then. You definitely don't need me now. My ducats stay in my pocket for you. But it's embarrassing. They're, they're all these. I, I never thought it was bad until one dude sent me an email. He goes, what you taking all these black folks begging on YouTube? And I'm like, I didn't know they were begging. So he said, well, give it a look. And I started looking at some, I seen people. Blaming their audience. Then I saw their videos, and the videos were nothing but negativity. And like to a lot of people, it's karma. I mean, like I said, I get YouTube money. I mean, I don't make a bunch of money off YouTube. I mean, I don't make enough. Look, if I make, I don't make enough money where I'm gonna quit my job. Let's put it that way. And like I said, I even sometimes I work a lot of overtime, and even the overtime money I put in my business. So a lot of these YouTubers, they just have bad business sense. They use terrible business models, and then they want me to donate money to their terrible modeling and their terrible business, and I'm supposed to like, give you money? I might as well wipe my ass with a 50 and throw it in the fireplace, because that's about the same effect that I will get donating to you. What you should have done is, you should have sucked it up, you should have quit crying, and you should have went on with it, and by then, somebody would have, somebody would have had to, you know, somebody would have said, hey, I like this guy. I like this chick. She, you know, instead of crying and whining when the chips were down, you know, they sucked it up. And, you know, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to help help her out, help him out. But she didn't do that. When the chips were down, she started tap dancing. And you see where tap dancing gets you? It got you a Tony Award. So now you should get the Tony Award for him, and you're leaving. So if I were you, if I were a lot of you people, I'd come back to YouTube. But I just, I, I, first of all, you need to apologize to your audience, first of all. If I were like the majority of you, you should apologize to your audience. That would be the first video I'd make. But then again, who, who knows? The pro problem with me is I have too much common sense. So, quit making bad videos. Well, like I said, and another thing, here's another reason why you guys can't grasp the, grasp the brass ring. You guys want to be, you guys want to be the kings and queens, but most of you guys have them. And the way I see it, and the way you, you went by doing this, a lot of you just have the mentality of a peasant, and that's why peasants will never be kings and queens. Because the times when the going got rough, you guys got out of there, and then you want to blame somebody else. That's like if you get laid off and you and you blame Frank because he didn't pay your bills. Frank is, in the, Frank is in, in control of you, grown man. You do what you want. But, you know, like I said, what do I know? I'm just a guy still on YouTube who doesn't have to beg. Peace.